Well, hey guys, I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, so I had another message from Jesus and I tried posting it this morning and it's taking all day to upload. So hopefully this one will get uploaded to let you know that there's another message coming. And it's kind of funny because I think the Lord kind of got tired of people saying that I wasn't hearing from him because these words are really out there. I mean, I had to like, I had to Google them because it was about the solar storms and stuff, the solar flares, and I didn't, I know what a lot of that stuff was. But the reason why I wanted to talk to you today was, um, I think that it's good to prepare, you know, for food and water and all that stuff because they are trying to, you know, collapse our economy and, and mess up with our food and water. And there's been so many train derailments and more and more are coming. And it's all to get the beast system in, guys. It's all part of their plan. Um, so if you don't believe in Jesus, definitely stock up and get prepared. But if you do, you know what? It's good to have it anyway because I know we're going to see some destruction. I just don't know how far we're going to see it. And just think about what a blessing it would be for the people left behind. You know, that they came in your house and they had water and food. And I encourage you to make them notes. You know, I left notes um, by my by my water and stuff, and I, I wrote some scriptures, and I let them know that we went to heaven, that there was a rapture, that, that Jesus took us to heaven, that there wasn't an alien um, a kidnapping or, you know, attack, terrorist attack, none of those things. And so, um, I think that's good to, you know, get your houses in order. Because I don't know when the rapture is, but I feel like it's very soon. And I don't know what soon is, you know, to God, but, you know, he's been telling me it's coming. It's coming. I hear that all the time. So I believe his word is true. And, um, you know, for the people who do not think there's a rapture, well, God showed me how the entire ending works. It's in a previous video. But I'll summarize something, you know, so John is in spirit in Revelation 4. And <clears throat> Jesus says, come up here to show him, you know, the end of the world and what's going to happen. Well, if you look at that passage, John and that scripture, John, there is an open door in that scripture. It says there's an open door. And then it also says that there's a trumpet. And then he says, come up here. Well, then if you go down to and look at the seven churches, okay, in Revelation, if you go to Revelation 3, 8, you have the Philadelphia church, the only church out of all seven that has an open door. So God showed me that. He also showed me Revelation 12 the other day, which was amazing. You know, it talked about um, the moon at her feet and where she's giving, you know, birth and he catches her up before the dragon devours her or the baby. So guys, I feel like catches the baby up. That's his child, children, rapture. Because then, you know, at the end of 12, it has said that, um, you know, she goes in the wilderness and then the rest of them. Well, who's the rest of them? So there's definitely elect. And then God is so good. I was reading Mark. 13, 14, and it says, so when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel, the prophet standing where it ought not, let the reader understand, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains, let him who is on the housetop not go down into the house, nor enter to take anything out of his house, excuse me, and let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. Well, he doesn't have to get his clothes because there's a rapture. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. I think that's a symbolism of, you know, the pregnancy of Revelation 12. You know, I don't think it's just about, you know, being pregnant during tribulation. I don't see why he would point that out. Because then the next verse is, and pray that your flight may not be in winter. Well, to me, flight is rapture. Um, for in those days, there will be tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the creation, which God created until his time, nor ever shall be. And unless the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh would be saved, but for the elect's sake, whom he chose, he shortened the days. 
again, to me, that all sim symbolizes rapture. And I feel like that is symbolizing Revelation 12. You know, God does things in his word and he points out things. Um, but so I just want to let you know that if you end up being left behind, that you can die for his glory and still make it. And parents, you know, when you lose your children, if you don't make the rapture, do not worry about them. I know it's going to be really hard, but they are in a safe, glorious place, having the times of their lives in heaven. And you can be in there too. But, you know, you can make it easier on yourself and just accept Jesus, ask him to come into your life, confess your sins, believe in him with all your heart, and he'll forgive you. And then you can be in the Philadelphia church. Just because you're in another church right now doesn't mean you can't cross over to the Philadelphia church. Philadelphia church just believes in Jesus 100% and are saved by their faith and his grace alone. You cannot complete his law on your own. It's impossible. If you're trying to complete the law, you're not under Christ. You have to be under Christ. And then you're going to walk in the spirit. You're going to lead. The spirit leads to life. And then you won't be walking in the flesh because you'll be guided by the Holy Spirit. When you walk in the flesh, that leads to death and that leads to sin. That's why you walk in the spirit. And you try fasting, try fasting and just praying and seeking Jesus as much as you can, guys. You have to get your lambs full of oil. That's righteousness, okay? God is holy. He's holy. So that's why you have to believe in him so he can save you because he came. He came in the flesh. He died for us, guys, and he rose three days later, okay? So it's very important. So parents, don't worry. Um... You know, if you see this message after we're gone, don't question it. It was it was God, it was the rapture, and it was heaven. And guys, ask the Holy Spirit to show you understanding. Do not lean on your own understanding. When you're reading the scriptures, you may have studied the scriptures for 30 years. But I'm telling you what, when you ask the Holy Spirit to show you understanding, and then you read it again, you may read that a little bit differently. So God's been teaching me, guys. He's awesome, you know, and um, everything he's saying is coming true, you know. So please, you know, we had all those meteor strikes, supposedly meteor strikes. I still am not convinced on that. There's a couple articles that I've seen that say that they've spotted aircraft jets where the meteorites were. So that's interesting. Um but anyway, there were definitely airstrikes that night and um, uh, prayers for Turkey because they got hit again today. And God told me in a previous message that that would happen. And not only that, he told me the players of the Gog Magog war and those people going after Israel are going to get earthquakes. All of those people. So that's all coming. And then now that Turkey's defeated, Iran is going to take Turkey's place. And that's in the next message. If I can ever get it uploaded, have a blessed day.